A very good morning to everyone and special welcome to our today's guest, Mr. S. Mukherjee. Hey, Malakshmi, little louder. Yes, ma'am. Uh, a very good morning to all and special welcome to our today's guest, Mr. S. Mutaparaman, sir. We'll be starting the session in another two to five minutes. You can start, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. A very good morning to all. On behalf of Department of Civil Engineering, I extend my very warm welcome to all of you for the second day program on this international webinar series on innovative technology in civil engineering. It's my privilege to introduce the guest speaker of today's session. About our today's guest, Mr. S. Mutha Permal graduated from reputed Alagapa College of Engineering and Technology, Karikuri, in India. During his initial tenure as graduate trainee engineer in a leading construction company in India, he witnessed the challenges of construction failures and damages caused due to leakages. Since he realized that waterproofing is not an individual responsibility of waterproofing contractor, but the entire construction team, from designer to the contractor to all subcontractors and material suppliers, etc. In the past three decades, he worked very closely with field engineers, structural engineers, architects, and suppliers, etc., not only within the country, but also across the globe. He, he gained rich experience due to his exposure uh, to various international techniques, products, and also traveled to more than 55 countries. In 2007, he was recognized by Government of India by, de by deputing him as the only Indian representative for the International Convention on Building Materials and Technologies held at Cairo in Egypt. He was associated in drafting specification for many turnkey prestigious projects like Microsoft in Hyderabad, IBM Bangalore, Bangalore International Airport, etc. He was also associated with some international projects and his consultancy in many critical projects within India as well as abroad earned a reputation for his troubleshooting ability in the Global Waterproofing Experts Forum. He served as a technical director for an American company, Penetron Crystalline Systems, India between 2008 to 2014, and he is currently associated with Alchemica India Private Limited, a Greece-based Greece company, and Contrepair India Private Limited, South Korean company, as a technical director for the Asian market. He is also actively involved in the core team of waterproofing experts of Building Materials and Technology Promotion Council and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation by Government of India, with the support of IIT Madras in framing waterproofing specification in construction manual. 2016 as guide for Prime Minister's affordable mass housing project across India. Sir, it's a honor having you here with us in this session today, sir. Now I kindly request you to begin with the session. Thank you, Hamal HB. I welcome you, sir, on behalf of the Department of Civil Engineering and also the Eastbury Engineering College for delivering your technical lecture for this program. I once again welcome Engineer Muthubramal sir to, for the program and also to deliver the technical lecture on building envelope solution. Thank you, sir, uh, coming over here. And please, you can proceed, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the short introduction by Hema Lakshmi and also Dr. Gopal Krishnan. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my experience on the Building envelope solutions, which is a very a critical and important subject in the construction industry. Straight away, Yes, sir, it is visible, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, many of you know, must have heard about waterproofing in the recent times. Waterproofing is uh, one of the very, very important aspect in the construction industry. We do shelters to protect our we do shelters to protect us from wind, water, and light. So protecting us from water is the subject what we are going to discuss today. 
So in any structure, it falls into 33% of importance in any, any project uh, coming up in the construction industry. Now, when you take a building, there are many ways into, through which the water can enter into the structure. Right from the basement, which is becoming very popular in the recent times, because we are going as deep as 10 floors, 15 floors like that. So when you go deeper and deeper, water has tendency to percolate inside the structure and spoils the living environment. So the first protection comes from the basement, then the roof, podium, water retaining structures, swimming pools, external walls, etc. So here we are trying to find out the systems which are followed in our country for many years and what is the emerging technology which is trying to give us a better solution. If you see the concept of waterproofing or the principle of waterproofing, uh, we call it as 1 is to 90. The cost of waterproofing in a project is it's almost less than a percent, one percent. But if it is not properly done, it could make a damage of 90 percent in the structure. Similarly, the water entry into the structure could be through one, one percent of the entire envelope of the building. But once it enters, it can damage the 90 percent of the living environment inside the building. So that's how we call it as 1 is to 90. Most ignored activity during the project, but post-project during the maintenance period, the most troublesome activity in any project is waterproofing. Going back to our traditional methods, for many centuries in our country, we have adopted brick bat koba or mud puska in the northern part and south in brick bat koba is followed on the roof. That's what we call it as waterproofing in our, uh, in our buildings. Here, these two systems which we followed in our residential works, it diverts the water. It does not provide any barrier because the roof structure, what we have are relatively small. And when you create a fantastic slope with brick bat koba or mud puska, this water will get diverted to the drains. That's how we are, uh, we are strong or we, the method of waterproofing followed in our country. The Bridgeback Koba followed in our country was successful for many centuries because of the size of the structures. Even in our temples, though they are very large, but most of the uh, uh, temples, the roof slabs are with stones and they have done with required fantastic slope. So water quickly drains to the drain points rather than getting collected on the roof. Now, the recent buildings like malls, IT parks, which are very large and it is exposed to heat and cold, expansion and contraction, makes this rigid system ineffective. So within a couple of years after completion of the building, the water starts leaking. Many new, newly constructed buildings annually spend a lot of money on arresting these leakages, which puts us into the responsibility of finding 
a most durable and reliable solution in the field of waterproofing. Why I need a waterproofing? Concrete by nature is not completely watertight. There are invisible cracks and pores in the concrete when the water is allowed to stagnate on the concrete it allows the water to pass through the concrete which we call it as permeability of concrete the permeability of concrete depends upon various factors like water cement ratio the construction joints or pore joints tie rod holes etc so the concrete requires a type of waterproofing layer beyond concrete, which provides complete barrier to the permeability of water. Now, when you take on the external side, external wall, which occupies a major portion of our building, also exposed to heavy lashing rain and wind force. Currently, we are using conventional paints from the market, which can build up to 30 to 50 micron thickness only. This, this very thin coating cannot take the rain, the lashing rain, and also the wind force. And you must have seen in many buildings these coatings in a short time cracks and starts delaminating from the surface. So we should go for a, a professional external envelope coating for our buildings rather than aesthetical coating which we apply it from the market paints. So we should certainly look for a, a professional building envelope coating. Subsequently, on an annual maintenance program, you can go for the uh, colorful paints which are available from the market. But once the building is done, immediately after the building uh, construction is over, we should consider a professional or a, a, a approved or time-tested coating which can build about 1 to 1 1.5 mm thick for our structures. And this has to be incorporated in all the projects by the consultants and the architects, which will solve many problems in the current scenario. If you see the evolution of waterproofing, it started uh, for, from the bitumen membrane or use of bitumen in waterproofing. Bitumen is a naturally available product which can ripple water, very cost-effective system. This is the one, bitumen is the only product uh, available naturally which can uh, ripple water. So bitumen uh, was used by many countries across the globe as basic waterproofing system. Subsequently, the cementitious system came. The cementitious system is actually the combination of cement and the polymers people used extensively. Then people found that cement is a rigid system. They, they tried to develop acrylic, which is a high build system, as the external waterproofing body. And in the recent times, the polyurethane technology is what uh, widely accepted as one of the successful waterproofing system. And we are in this session, we are going to discuss a, a liquid applied PU system as emerging technology on the building envelope solutions. Uh, the cementitious few highlights on the cementitious waterproofing. Uh, it is a combination of cement and polymer. You will find uh, a pack of cement uh, supplied along with a liquid 
polymer, which are mixed to form a slurry coat. And this slurry coat is applied on the concrete either by brush or travel. And this forms a very thin waterproofing barrier. But this system is not widely used uh, to the uh, uh, entire component of the building. Generally, it is restricted to the toilets, kitchen, balconies, or non-exposed area. The polymer is added to give flexibility to the waterproofing system. Even today, the system is strongly used in the project for very small areas like indoor applications like toilet and kitchens. Then bituminous system, bitumen is not directly used as a coating. Generally, it is converted into membranes, which are APP membranes and SBS membranes. Each of this product has its own application areas. The APP membrane is generally used for exposed application with torch on, it's a torch on method. It has high resistance to the heat and it gives a complete protection from light, uh, water and UV. Whereas sulfidism membrane is used in the below grade system because of its adhesive nature, it can stick well with the retaining wall and provides a waterproofing barrier. Then there are a few setbacks which created troubles uh, by using bitumen membranes. People wanted a seamless coating and they were trying different products, right from acrylic, cement dishes. And then finally, now in the evolution ladder, we have reached a system called polyurethane liquid applied system. Uh, because of its seamless coating, fully bonded, it has very high elongation. The termination, short termination system, there's no special termination required for liquid applied system. And also it is easy to apply. So in liquid applied system, which is becoming more popular today, if you see in India, more than 80% of the superstructure that is above ground application, today people prefer to go for polyurethane coating. As everyone knows, the polyurethane is the basic combination of isocyanate and polyol. And it is formulated to specific coating properties, which are used in different locations of the building. There are different types of polyurethane coatings, which are designed for each area of application. Now, how to apply this liquid applied system? We have different methods. We can use travel, notch travel. We can use spray machine. We can use rollers or brush. Very easy. Any painter can apply, provided if he understands the method of application and the type of polyurethane which he has to use it for specific use. As I mentioned to you, the liquid applied system or a polyurethane technology became more popular over bitumen membrane because there is no joint, no heating, no blisters, no breaking, no, uh, it does not age as fast as bitumen membrane. And it has excellent addition to the substrate. If you compare, in a basic concept, liquid applied system is compact. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, under the slide, hide. You can put it mean uh, we can know the slide properly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
So in the uh, when you basic uh, to explain you basic property of liquid applied and uh, uh, sheet waterproofing or bitumen waterproofing, we can compare it uh, compare it like apple and orange skin. So in apple skin, the the skin is fully bonded or adhered to the fruit. The liquid applied waterproofing, what we are currently using is with a similar concept. It has a better bonding or full addition to the concrete, whereas the sheet, any sheet waterproofing will not have as effective bonding to the substrate like what the liquid applied system can give. Because of this debonding of waterproofing layer, we have a lot of problems like migration of water between the concrete and the waterproofing layer, which is difficult to troubleshoot any failure. The point of entry will not be the point of exit. Sometimes the water will enter in one point and it will travel between the slab and the, and the waterproofing layer. And it will leak even after 10 meters away from the point of entry. So liquid applied system is more friendly, more uh, user friendly, more effective, and best performed as of now in the technology which has evol uh, evolved on waterproofing system. The polyurethane, uh, the main advantage of this product is uh, without any reinforcement, unlike a bitumen membrane, in bitumen membrane you need a, a reinforcement like geotextile or a fiberglass mesh, which limits the elongation of the bitumen membrane. Whereas in uh, polyurethane technology, the tensile strength of the product itself is quite high. And also, the elongation of the product is not limited by the reinforcement. We have some polyurethane products which has more than 2,000 percentage elongation. And because of this property, any cracks which are developed in the building due to thermal expansion or thermal stress, this coating can expand and bridge the crack. Yeah, this is uh, one of the very unique uh, property which everyone ap can appreciate uh, is it can take any shape of the building. On a terrace today, we, uh, we normally get too many detailing on the terrace, pedestals, antennas, uh, or up fans, or headrooms, uh, or gutters. So all these contours, on the roof is inevitable today. When we have so many detailing on the roof, you need some liquid applied system which can take all shape of, of our upstands. So liquid applied system has become more appropriate and more successful Indian roofs on Indian roofs because in our roof slab, or we can say on the terrace of Indian buildings, today more than 60% of the roof terrace is occupied with a lot of detailings. So liquid applied system is most suitable for this requirement. It fills the pores because of its low viscosity. It gets into the pores of the concrete and it develops a mechanical bonding to the slab, unlike a sheet, which is generally bonded by chemical, by chemical bonding, whereas in liquid applied system, it fills the cracks, voids, and pores. By this, it forms a mechanical bonding to the substrate. Yes, of course, this is one of the prime reason why people prefer liquid applied system than sheet is that it does not have a seam overlaps. Very frequently we have seen in bitumen membrane, uh, the failures are at the overlaps or joints. And these joints are sometimes 
opens up due to bad workmanship of the applicators and uh, the failure occurs. In liquid applied system, such overlaps of joints will not be there. It is a uniform, seamless coating. Yes, it is not as heavy as Britbat Coba or any other waterproofing system, which are commonly used. Here, it does not add any load to the roof. Suppose we, are, we select a liquid applied system which can be exposed, left open. There is no need for any further protection, further protection on the top of the liquid applied system. It can be left exposed. So today, in every component of the building, we have a suitable product which are designed or formulated with the base of polyurethane technology. A single technology which can be used across, across the building. So there's no need of hybrid system. Uh, you, there's no need to go for one type of waterproofing for one component, another type of waterproofing for different component. Having different inventories of products, difficult for the applicators to uh, identify the suitable product. Here, we have solutions for all the applications from the same technology called polyurethane technology. So first uh, product which uh, we are going to talk about is uh, for the terrace and podium, which is uh, uh, which occupies the larger portion of a building, which needs uh, quality waterproofing. So this is a picture of a terrace on the left hand side, on the right hand side, a podium of a stadium, which is coated with a revolutionary waterproofing product. Called Hyperdesmo, it is a brand name, but the, the particular product name is called Hyperdesmo PB2K. The 2K means it's a two component product. It's a bitumen extended polyurethane membrane. Any polyurethane product needs a filler. In this product, the filler, what they have used is bitumen, a virgin bitumen, mixed with polyurethane to give excellent waterproofing and also stays as the envelope for the building for both terrace and the podium. Since it is a polyurethane technology, it also recommended for landscaping because of its anti-root barrier. It does not allow the plants or trees to take the roots, penetrate through the root slab. You will all get surprised to note that even if the grass is grown on your roof, the roots of the grass can penetrate the root slab. So you need a waterproofing or a barrier system which will not allow these roots to penetrate through our structure. So it is a two component. I'm talking particular, uh, we are talking particularly about this product which is widely accepted today in India by many consultants and contractors and a very successful product, two component polyurethane system. Because of its two component system, it has better shelf life. It can develop to any thickness in single coat. There's no need of multiple coats so that the cost of the labor goes up. The, the full thickness of the coating can be developed in single coat. It's a self-leveling product, so there's no need uh, for you to adjust the thickness based on the surface. It flows freely. It has a lower specific gravity, lesser than water, so it can flow to the 
profile of the roof slab or a podium slab and takes the shape of the roof. The most important point here is the water absorption. Generally, the liquid applied system, we found that the water absorption used to be very high because of the filler material what we add to the coating. Here, bitumen as bitumen is added as a filler material with polyurethane, the water absorption is as low as 0.9%, which is accepted by the International Code, ASTM C836. Another very interesting property is elongation. Here, the elongation of the product is more than 2,000 percentage. You need such high, high elongation because to, to bridge the cracks, live cracks of a structure, you need high elongation property. Suppose a new crack is developed during the maintenance of the building. After two years, a crack develops on a roof due to thermal stress. You need a coating which is fully bonded coating having high elongation property to bridge the cracks. So if I have a product having 2,000 percentage elongation, it can bridge up to 2 mm of live crack. 2 mm of live crack is from 0 to 2 mm, it can bridge the crack. If I have a product of having 300 percentage elongation, it can bridge up to 0.3 mm live crack. As I mentioned, it has anti-root property, so it does not allow any plants to grow on the roof. The other feather on this product's cap is it has C certification for a service life of 25 years. It has been tested by the third party that the service life of this product is more than 25 years. So this product is now being used in many projects, uh, very prestigious projects like Bangalore Airport or Boeing project, Shell project, because of its versatile property. Uh, it has been accepted by the tech specifiers and it has been used in many IT parts, mainly on the terrace and the podium. If you see the application of this product is very simple. First, you have to prepare the surface, clean the surface. All the joints and cracks to be filled with sealant. Apply the primer, then apply the coating. Single coat, it can cover the area. Suppose you wanted to do the land uh, screening on the top. In the landscape, we normally provide a drainage membrane. But if it's a hardscape or a terrace, we go for a screed or a tile on the top. So we need a geotextile on the top, a separation layer. It is must to provide a geotextile to separate between the polyurethane or waterproofing layer and the top screed. Otherwise, the screed will bond to the waterproofing layer. And when the screed, protective screed cracks, it will add stress to the waterproofing layer. So we provide a geotextile between the screed and the basic waterproofing. Here, there are other alternative solutions. We can also use insulation board over the waterproofing layer. Then we provide a geotextile and the screed on the top. The pink color, what I've shown is the insulation layer. We can also go for a landscape directly by providing a drainage layer. Earlier, we used to use pebbles as drainage medium. Today, there are membranes available in the market which can be used for uh, draining the water from the landscape. The picture, what uh, we have shown you, is one of the largest landscape job which we have done in Bombay, which has more than 40,000 square meters. So 
that's all about that product, uh, which we used it for the podium and terrace, which occupies more than 60% of the area in any building. Now, the other area which needs very uh, important waterproofing system is the retaining wall. The external retaining wall is also subjected to high water pressure because of the groundwater during rainy season. So you need a seamless waterproofing layer and a fully bonded system. Fully bonded system makes more sense in the retaining wall because tomorrow if there is any damage, any leakage inside the building, it can be easily identified, located, and rectified. So here we are using a product called AquaSmart, which is a water-based polyurethane coating. The first product what I referred for terrace and podium is a solvent-based waterproofing, whereas here it is a water-based polyurethane system. Why I need water-based polyurethane system? Because after the retaining wall is done, the structure above the building will continue to uh, in progress. They will continue to construct the superstructure, whereas they give the uh, waterproofing treatment operation to the waterproofing contractor. And the contractor, when he goes to apply the waterproofing coating, certainly there will be spillage of water from the curing water from the superstructure. So the retaining wall remains wet for minimum uh, 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 minimum 70 to 80 percent of the construction period. So when we apply waterproofing treatment on the retaining wall, the liquid applied system, what we are recommending, should have ability to stick on the wet surface. So this particular product, uh, polyurethane, water-based polyurethane or solvent-free polyurethane, is ideally recommended for retaining wall even under wet condition. It's a very thixotropic product, so the thickness can be developed. There's no need for multiple coats to develop thickness. It is elastic and quick curing. This is also another important property. When you apply it, suppose you want to do backfilling quickly, it dries within three to four hours, and then you provide a protection board and then backfill the soil. It, uh, it is also solvent-free, highly elastic. It can be applied by brush or roller. And also sometimes we can use spray if we, if we have the large work front to be treated with waterproofing. This product is also CE certified on ETAG 022 for its performance standard. So this product can also be used inside the toilets and balconies uh, because in a confined room, if I use a solvent-based coating, sometimes the solvent evaporates, evaporates and creates uh, suffocation to the applicators. Now, if you ask me why I should go for PU uh, when there is a uh, conventional cementitious waterproofing system, there are two major points or important points which cannot be ignored. One is the water absorption of cementitious coating is very high. It absorbs up to 10%, whereas polyurethane absorbs only 2%. This particular product absorbs 2%. And also, cementitious coating is a rigid system, so there is a if there is any vibration in the structure due to construction activities, the cementitious coating cracks and it fails, whereas polyurethane coating will stay, it can take the movement of the structure vibration. Generally, it is uh, protected with screed and tiles on the top. So we also have uh, one more product, which is uh, highly elastic, but uh, it is not 100% solvent-free. It has 
98% solvent so uh, 98% solvent free it's a 2% solvent and this product has uh, better elongation than aqua smart it has 1000 percentage elongation so when when there is a, a large structure with precast toilet units we prefer to use this product called hyperdesmo swr this is another interesting product for civil engineers for water retaining structure the current method what we adopt for water tanks uh, we use cementitious product either crystalline or cementitious coating which we predominantly use for water retaining structures whether it is water tank or stp or overhead tank or water bodies swimming pools etc when you compare cementitious and this product cementitious pro uh, coating as i mentioned it has water absorption up to 10% when water stagnates or wa water is stored 24 bar 7 it slowly destroys the integrate integrity of the cementitious coating because of its absorption nature whereas in polyurethane coating what uh, we are now currently recommending has less than 0.5% water absorption and it has excellent elongation property up to 300% and it does not require any protection further protection take the uh, uh, structure grind it the rcc structure or a brick wall grind it remove all the debris irregularities then straight away we can apply the primer and this coating and this coating is a seamless coating no further protection is required it can be left free it prevents bacteria growth bacterial growth inside the tank so it is almost like a ceramic tile finish inside your tank whether it is a ug tank or a, a overhead tank and this has revolutionized many water retaining structures in our country we have recently done for ramuji film city project at hyderabad which is about 5 lakh liters capacity a tank which was leaking for last 7 years we have recommended this product and from the day one the whole tank is completely made watertight so it is called hyperdesmo 2kw it's a two component solvent free polyurethane coating for tank protection so this product is also certified by the international pollution control to use use it for potable water we can also use it for fire water tank or uh, storm water line this product is certified by our central food research institute from mysore so straight away on the concrete tank primer and a top coat with 2kw can be applied if you see the properties it has a high tensile strength of 20 mpa excellent addition of 2 mpa very low water absorption 0.5% and surface hardness of sure d40 sure d40 means you can clean the tank whenever you require and it protects it forms a complete protection uh, from any damages while cleaning the tank we also have a similar product called uh, d2k hyperdesmo d2k which is used for sewage treatment plants or effluent treatment plant thanks if you see the properties it has better tensile strength than 2kw it has 30 mpa tensile strength it has very good addition 4 mpa and sure d hardness is d60 it can take any abuse of chemicals mechanical abrasions inside the stp sewage treatment plant, tank which can provide 
uh, waterproofing barrier for STP not allowing the sewage fluid to leak from the tank to the subsoil. Uh, we also have a product which is widely used today in the basement. It is a sheet. This is unlike a liquid, this is a sheet form. This is the only area we are using a sheet. That is below the raft, we use the sheet called Hypermat 650. The name itself is clearly says that it is a sheet. It has a tensile strength of 650, uh, elongation of 650, and it, it forms a sheet. Uh, it has a P strength of 880 Newton per meter, resistance to water 70 meter hydrostatic pressure, and it also has very low water absorption. This is a product which comes in a roll. So these rolls are these rolls are unrolled at the side, and concrete is put on the top. This is the only location in the entire structure we use a preformed sheet, because uh, when you pour concrete on the top, automatically it will have a better bonding to the base concrete. So there is no worry about bonding of concrete to the uh, sheet. So this is one. Where we use. So sealants, this is commonly used for precast structures. Uh, uh, the sealants are applied in all facade. Uh, sealants can also be used in the expansion joints, construction joints, etc. It is basically a, a, a cement which is flexible in nature. So polyurethane sealant uh, is uh, has a high elongation. The important property is the joint movement accommodation factor. It has 50% joint movement accommodation factor. And we have not still started using in India the sealants in its required areas. People have not really understood the need of a flexible system for joints. So, we are trying to throw light uh, on this particular product to many contractors where to use the sealants, particularly around a window. When I use a, use a UV, U, uh, UPVC, generally people use uh, polysulfide sealant, where polyurethane sealant will be a better replacement uh, to polysulfide sealant. Today, the prices have also come down, so we can use polyurethane sealants in many applications, joint applications. The last product, which is becoming more popular because of our mistakes we do in the new project. When we do new project, the time progress of the project is in the front runner. So because of the speed of the project, we do mistakes. And because of the mistakes uh, and the waterproofing failure happens, so we use this product. It is like a paint, but it is a polyurethane coating, which is applied on the terrace of a roof. The, this, the right-hand side picture, which is a curved roof, is a SAP, SAP building in Bangalore, where we are applying this uh, coating on the terrace, very newly constructed building. Because of the leakage, they wanted a waterproofing layer, so we have done. This is also very recently completed building for BMW, BMW factory. So it is called Ipodesmo Classic, which can be left exposed, no further protection is required. If you see the product properties, it has high uh, service life, 25 years of life, approval from uh, European Union and also British BBA, British Board of Agreement. And it has a very low absorption. It's a very flexible product. And uh, it has very high elongation and tensile strength. Tensile strength is about 8 MPa. I just want to tell about this product. Uh, it's a very unique product. Uh, it is a transparent coating. 
a, a, a membrane is formed or a lamination is done on the floor. This coating is a transparent coating which is applied on the balconies, terrace, bathrooms, water tanks, or cascades, where the layer will not be visible, it will not affect the aesthetic of the building, and still it provides waterproofing. It is a transparent coating to the hard substrate. So these are the clients in a short period we have uh, uh, we are able to convince and we are associated with those projects. Today, like us, I represent a company, but there are a number of companies which have come to India with their latest polyurethane technology so that Indian customers will have the world best technology available for Indian construction projects. We are one among the many waterproofing companies which who are supplying these products for prestigious ongoing projects in our country. Thank you very much for your patience here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Participants, any questions, you can post it in the chat box. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, send your queries or you can. Uh... Yes, sir, the, there is the question. Sir, yeah. There is the question. Primer coating with which material in case water tank? You have mentioned hybrid SMO 2KW. Hybrid SMO 2KW, yeah. Uh, inside the water tank, uh, we need to use a primer which is solvent-free because uh, 2KW is also solvent-free. We cannot uh, use a solvent-based product inside a confined confined structure like water tank toilets. So we are having a primer which is solvent-free, which is applied inside the water tank before we apply the waterproofing for recommended for water tank. What is the life of the PU coating exposed to sunlight? An excellent question. Uh, there are certain uh, polyurethane products we have under the classification called aliphatic polyurethane, which is uh, a little expensive, but it can stay exposed, uh, tested life of 25 years. It can stay for more than 25 years. Participants, any more questions? So, uh, with regard to the agencies, what you need, I suggest uh, uh, you can go to their website, uh, alchemica.co.in, uh, or you can send a mail to us. Uh, I'm just writing my uh, email ID, ps uh, technical service at alchemica. Alchemica.co.in. So you sir, can you can also put it in the chat box, sir. No problem. And then if you go to the chat box and you can also put it. So Let you can uh, TS at alchemica.co.in. You can send us the uh, inquiries. Sir, can you uh, can the Asian paint damp proof is used for terrace waterproofing instead of red brick but here, uh, I don't want to talk on the brand name because it will not be appropriate, but uh, uh, any company, any brand name, uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, the company which you have mentioned is also having polyurethane technology. They also have different types of technologies. Uh, and uh, uh, now uh, people, uh, we are having short of good labors for doing brickbat coba materials, a time consuming uh, affair. If I open 20,000 square meter of brickbat coba, it may take the project to complete. So most of the ongoing projects in India, people go for modern technologies like what I have referred to called technology. 
now uh, Ms. Uh, Saini, Mr. Saini, uh, on the environmental aspect, yes, polyurethane, if it is not cured, uh, it could cause some damage to the people who are using it. But when it is applied, mixed and applied, exposed to environment, the cured product does not have any impact on the environment. Uh, Mr. Solanki, the difference, uh, there's, uh, I, I, uh, it's not fair to talk about the other products uh, without knowing much. Uh, the Sika is also a very reputed uh, company in the world. They also have different uh, polyurethane coatings like Alchemica. But Alchemica is a Greek company uh, existing in the market for 35 years. They are one of the pioneers in uh, polyurethane technology. They also have a lot of patents, patent rights for uh, a specific uh, formulation. That's why they are respected not only uh, in India but across the globe as one of the advanced uh, waterproofing systems available in waterproofing technology. Uh, uh, regarding the training institutes, yes, uh, we are trying to develop a training center in Chennai called Vision Center. Because of this lockdown, we have not uh, in operational, but otherwise uh, we collect people uh, as a team of 20 people and uh, we try to give them a hand-on experience and also discuss waterproofing, different waterproofing systems. But if you wanted to professionally learn about waterproofing, different types of waterproofing, there are some manufacturers uh, in the Gulf region. In Saudi Arabia, there is a company called Bituman. They conduct uh, a waterproofing course called Bira, Bira, B I R A. Every year, they collect 40 to 50 people. They, uh, they take uh, those people to Saudi Arabia. You can some for some people they do it free of cost and for some people you have to pay you can go to saudi arabia for five to six days they give you accommodation they completely discuss about different waterproofing systems across uh, different waterproofing systems followed across the world uh, in india we are trying to bring a similar setup uh, in association with iit chennai uh, we had already had a couple of uh, training programs like that. Uh, we would like to have on-site training program. But uh, classroom, yes, we have, as I mentioned to you, we have a place called Vision Center where uh, you can give accommodation for about 20 people. Uh, we, are, uh, we are making them to stay for two, three days. Understand uh, and also... Uh, having hand-on experience with the waterproof system. You can write to us at ts at alchemica.co.in. We will inform you when the next program starts. You can also plan accordingly. Yes, uh, in, in our institute means our Ishwari College, certainly... Uh, no, sir, they are from other, I think... Uh... Other colleges also participating, sir, actually. Okay. You can write to us, sir. It will be our pleasure to share and uh, share and also learn from you. So you can uh, you can write to us. We can uh, discuss not only polyurethane technology, but also other waterproofing methods which are uh, used in our system, in our country. The pros and cons of every system can be discussed and uh, we can uh, really work out a program. Now for online uh, training program, yes, you can write to us. We can, we can have a similar training program for your people. We are conducting. In fact, uh, every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturdays we are for one hour, we are having regular programs uh, in our, from our uh, website. But uh, certainly for uh, exclusively for your institute, we can do some training for you. Certainly we can do it. Uh, do it, Mr. Gupta. So you can uh, write to us and we'll, uh, we'll send you the link and we can have some training for you.
Yeah, I have already sent you my uh, email address. Again, I'm typing ps at alchemica.co.in. Uh, ps is technical service at alchemica.co.in. Uh, Alchemica is a Greek, uh, Greece, uh, Greek based company. Uh, we have factories, four factories in Europe. We are pioneers in polyurethane technology, polyurethane and polyurea. We have uh, many patent products which are worldwide accepted. Now, uh, we are about five years old in India. We have developed uh, uh, special products for precast structures. Uh, in association with IIT Chennai, we have developed some products for Prime Minister's low-cost housing. And it, uh, it has been tested successfully and also uh, adopted in many projects. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I, I Any really... further questions are there? Is it time to uh, thank our uh, chief guest? Uh, okay. Thank you again, Muthupurmal sir, for it's... spending your valuable time and giving a wonderful lecture and giving a different products and different applications also. Example, the bottom of the slab and the water tank and the so and the other things in balconies and the different areas of the building components. Thank you, sir, once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can we close it formally with order? Yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am. Towards the end of today's morning session, and here... Each and every one of you who have spent their time in, the, in this webinar event on innovative technology in civil engineering. I sincerely thank the management, principal, head of the Department of Civil Engineering, Dr. S. Lavinia Prabha, ma'am, and all the coordinators from the department for arranging this technical webinar series as an excellent exposure to all the participants here. Once again, I thank each and every one of you for attending the day two program of this international webinar series on innovative technology in civil engineering and getting the best done out of it. Thank you all. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. I thank all. Uh, Muthuparimal sir and all the participants. All the participants, I request all of you to join in the afternoon by 125 sharp. Thank you all. The feedback is linked.